Back with trainer Kenny McPeak, I want to talk about uh, a horse that he has pointed for the grade one Claiborne Breeders Futurity on the uh, Saturday card at Keeneland. And it's King Fury, just the one star derby week down at Churchill Downs. Obviously, he's very impressive. Uh, tell me about this one. Well, this is a really hot, talented colt. Um, he was an expensive yearling at, uh, at uh, Faisal Tipton, Saratoga uh, last summer and owned by Paul Fireman, uh, founder of Reebok, and also Three Chimneys, Gonzalo Torrealba. Um, you know, I've had some good young horses in my career, but this colt acts like he's any kind of horse, and um, we're quite excited about his next step here. Um, he's a complete professional, very focused, easy horse to train, and um, he's playing fast, and um, rates off horses, did everything perfect the first time, and we expect him to move forward pretty good off that first race into this next one. Was this one that showed himself to have some special talent really early on? Well, the expectations have been high for him from the beginning because he was so expensive. But, um, but he, uh, of course, being a son of Curlin, and I've got a you know, distant connection to Curlin there, haven't picked him out as a young horse, but he, um, he acts like that kind of horse. He's out of a grade one winning mare. Um, and I, I suspect that this is probably a stallion prospect at some point. As we uh, record this, entries haven't been finalized yet. Drop anchor is a possibility as well in this race from your stable, right? Yeah, we're probably going to go into a never one two allowance race with that colt. Um, if that race doesn't fill, then I may slot him over into the futurity, although he's yet to show he's quite as good as King Fury. But um, we'll uh, probably have to call that audible to line of scrimmage when they, when they draw entries. Any uh, excuse you can give him for the performance last time after that impressive debut? Uh, you know, the rider said he didn't handle the Churchill surface, which is disappointing. He's trained over it a lot. But he did go to Ellis and won pretty easy first time out. Um, I do think he's a two-turn horse. So he's begging for the added distance and, and maybe a pace setup. But, um, you know, it's one start, and I don't think we can completely judge him. His work back um, since then was excellent. He worked really well the other day. And, um, you know, the jury's still out on him. I know the, the Keeneland meets always mean a lot to you. How are you set up beyond these two-year-old races we've talked about for the fall meet? Um, yeah, we've got a lot of nice horses um, aligned for Keeneland. Um, a lot of young horses in some maiden races, some – uh, stakes. We've got another one that's going to go in the Jasmine. Um, we might even run one in the Bourbon. But for that matter, Drop Anchor may very well run in the Bourbon instead of the uh, the Futurity. So um, high level problems. Um, we're going to run one in the Fayette. It looks like um, I've got one nominated for the Valley View. Um, I'm probably missing a couple, but it, uh, hopefully it's a good meet. Well, good luck, and uh, we'll, uh, I'm sure, see you in the winter circle in the fall. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Tom.